Hello. So good to see everybody. Can you hear me okay? Thank goodness. <laughs> Somebody's watching a loud TV. Oh, the debates are, are the debates still on? Yeah, no, they over. Yeah, I didn't want to watch that. I wanted to, I wanted to go to bed in a good mood tonight. <laughs> Is everybody doing good tonight? Awesome. I'm going to give it just two minutes. I'm going to look at all your beautiful faces. I'm seeing who's on. I got some stuff up my sleeve today. Oh, be scared. Be really, really scared. I see some people that are in Vancouver on here. We have been talking all day long and look at these rock stars still getting on. I am so proud of all of you guys. Oh, look, we got a hubby and a wife here that aren't in the same house in the same country on at the same time. Hi, Jenkins family. All right. Look at all of you beautiful people. Awesome. I'm making some mental notes. We got a good looking team. Just gonna say that right now. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, you guys excited? Yeah? Awesome. Can you hear me okay? I've got headphones in so I feel like I have a cold. You know how like your ears get all stuffy? All right, get my state, you guys ready? Awesome. Let's do this. Okay. Can you believe it's week six? Isn't that crazy? I can't even believe it. Are you guys sick of me yet? No, I'm saying no. Okay. Heck no. Okay. Well, I got to tell you, cause I know we're going to have lots of people watching this that, um, aren't necessarily financially linked to any of us. And I've been to a few different cities over the last six weeks, I think four four different cities in the last four weeks. And it is amazing how many people are coming up to me and saying thank you for sharing these with everybody. So, you know, I, I, I know sometimes um, our own team takes it for granted that this has been available for you since I showed up. Um, I'm not tooting my horn by any means, but I want you to know how blessed we are to have each other because there are many, 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 many ISA orphans out there that would die to have what we have. So as you guys go to events out all over the world, I want you to have pride, not only in, in the community we have and, and, and just each other as beautiful, beautiful leaders, because you all are, you're all amazing. But I want you to pay that forward and spread that light onto anybody that needs it. And I know that most of you do already, um, but I want you to take that extra, eff make that extra effort to really love on people. There are so many that would die to be where we're at and part of this community. So I don't take that lightly. Um, as you guys know, I mean, I've always, 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 even when it was just 10 of us in a room, I always opened it to everybody in this company because, you know, when I showed up, I felt like an orphan. You know, I kind of removed myself from everything I'd ever known um, that was comfortable and I walked into this whole network marketing isogenics world feeling pretty lost and alone. So, you know, I never forget that when I decided from day one to share whatever gift I should have or my experience with any of anybody else. I don't care, even if they're part of isogenics, if we have something that will serve somebody, then share it, please, with anybody that you come in contact with. So that's been on my heart a lot lately. You know, we're in Vancouver, Canada. And uh, I've been to Vancouver once before and Toronto once before. And wow, are those people grateful for us and many of you. Um, you touched many of them as well. And I, I want you to know that if you're sitting here and maybe this last six weeks, things aren't going the way you expected them to, or maybe you've kind of fizzled out or you don't feel that same excitement. 
I want you to remember that the world does need us and you do have value. You have a beautiful heart of service because you guys keep showing up wanting to be better. Um, and, and I don't take that lightly either. Yes, you may not enroll them. <laughs> Who cares? You may not even ever make a dollar as a result of them. But do you know the difference you can make in somebody's life just by listening or giving them a hug or smiling? Um, so please, I just want you to remember that no matter where you go, be striver proud. Um, really, really, it, it is an honor to have each and every one of you a part of this amazing community. And um, I want you to be proud of who you are and the community that you belong to. And then just go spread that love and light on the world, okay? Can we, can we make that promise? Can I see uh, everybody wanting and being willing to do that? I know so many of you do already, but I just wanted to remind you that, you know, sometimes we don't always see um, the impact that we make. But every time that I have little bits of it shown to me, I am blown away and I'm so full of gratitude for that. And, and I want you to know that you may never even see the, the impact that you made visually, but I want you to know it's felt all over, not just this company, but the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being beautiful, beautiful leaders, lovers, um, and just an incredible human beings. So I wanted to start with that because it's, it's been a pretty uh, emotional few days here for me in Vancouver. We feeling good? All right, you guys are awesome. Let me take a sip of water. I've been talking literally since like eight o'clock this morning. Okay, <clears throat> so as I've started each of the last five weeks with um, what we learned from Eric Worry at Celebration, again, hands up if you went to Celebration and went to that leadership meeting. Awesome, many of you did. Uh, incredible. If you haven't listened to GoPro on audio, get. Um, I love his audio book. I'm a reader normally. I don't normally love audio books, but his audio book is probably one of the best I've ever heard because he narrates it. And oh, look at the threesome in Vancouver in the little cuddle, <laughs> cuddle session. Barbara and Lindsay and Margaret, that's so cute. Um, Eric Worre's book, GoPro, I listened to when I was about a year into isogenics and um, I didn't know much about network marketing and how great the industry is. Um, my belief was pretty, pretty high, but that pretty much set it way over 10. Uh, so if you haven't read that book yet, or you wanna, I have the, the actual book, book, but I love listening to him. He is so incredible. And uh, that book, I, I had it on like repeat, repeat, repeat that first year. And then I hadn't listened to it for about 18 months. And 18 months later, I picked it up and I didn't realize how much just having it on repeat had stuck into my head because all of a sudden I was listening to it with different ears 18 months later and I was pretty damn proud of myself. I was like, holy moly, I am doing pretty much everything that he says and I was super excited. So never underestimate when you have good things going in your ear all the time, the impact it's making and so much of it that sticks that you don't even realize sometimes. Um, and he is a pro. I mean, he is a pro in the network marketing industry, which is what we're in. It's the most brilliant industry in the world, if you ask me. And so when we were at Celebration um, a few months ago, he um, gave the characteristics of um, successful leaders. And we've gone through five of them already. And the sixth one was focus. Uh, how many of you ha have taken the color code before? Lots of you. How many of you are yellows? I know, Lindsay, we know. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Let's see who else. Anybody else yellow? Raise your hand if you're yellow. Uh, Jorge, yes, of course you are. I know you are. <laughs> oh, Crystal, yep, I could see that too. So you guys have to work extra hard to keep your focus. And I don't, I, I can say that honestly, because I'm a red and I still struggle with this too, because I'm such a type A get her done kind of girl. Sometimes if I don't write it down, I'm like running around in circles because I can't, too much information is going on inside this head that when I'm confused, when most people are confused, what do they do? Anybody know? Zippo, right? And so sometimes even for us type A, get her done kind of personalities, reds, we have, if we don't write it down, we're just a freaking hot mess and we don't get anything done. Any other reds can relate to me? Yeah. So if you're red, 
get in the habit of writing things down. It'll save you a lot of energy. You'll be way more effective. It's amazing. But focusing is um, really, really important. I will never forget one of my first, I think it was probably my first event. Um, it was Lynn Hagedorn and, you know, she was talking about the compensation plan and some other things. And I will never forget her words when she said, laser sharp focus laser sharp focus. You can hashtag that and give it to Lynn because she's the one who shared it with me. She was amazing. And it just like, oh, it like got me right in my heart, that laser sharp focus. And, and I've used that a lot. Um, whenever I want to kind of get distracted or I want to make excuses for why I'm not doing something, you know, I, uh, I go back to that laser sharp focus. I mean, think about like if somebody's looking at you with laser sharp eyes, like, whoa, like you get locked and loaded into their, into their zone, right? Now, if you're just like, oh, I'm focusing on you, yeah, that's not, not a big deal, right? But if it's laser sharp focus, it's like, think of that like when you've got one of those little laser things with the red, red dot, you know, like that's a laser, like you're aiming for something, you know, that's where the bomb's going, you know? And um, the laser sharp focus is something super important. And I hear a lot of people saying, oh, you know, I just get distracted or, you know, I, I'm just not organized or, um, sorry, I gotta mute you guys. Um, you say things that pretty much set yourself up to just screw up, just call on a spade a spade here. And you know, that's a decision and that's a choice. All right. I could say, well, I just do better at memorizing. That's just who I am. How's that working for me? Not so great. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you keep labeling yourself, with, I mean, we have fun with the color code and everything, but if you label yourself something, guess what? What you focus on is exactly what's gonna, what's, what you're gonna find and that's what's gonna happen. So if you have an area that you need to improve in, instead of saying I'm this or I'm that to make excuses for your lack of doing the work or the lack of um, maybe producing the results that you desire, how about we make a decision to change that behavior and those habits? Can we agree to that? Yes, because I was an excuse maker and I used to wear it with really big pride, you know, big tough girl here. And you know what, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, how's that working for you? By, by saying that about yourself, usually zero. Usually that's what you um, will say when you don't do what you say you're gonna do and we're gonna get to that later. So if, if you have a hard time focusing, Implement things in your life that will help you focus, especially when it comes to social media. This is where most of us lose hours and hours of our day. We think we've been working all day on our isogenics business, and guess what? Next thing you know, it's 11 o'clock at night. You haven't showered, and um, you know, you've been on Facebook most of the day. I'm not mentioning any names, but maybe that's happened to one or two of you before. Yeah, I'm guilty of that too, you guys. So you know, that's an area where I can get really carried away with time. And so I set a timer in my phone. I time block my social media time. This is key, especially those of you working in pocket, pockets of your life, managing full-time families, full-time jobs, full-time craziness. You can make this happen in the pockets of your life, but you're going to have to be super, super disciplined and laser sharp focused. Okay, so whatever you need to do, if you're a paper and pen kind of girl like I am, do that. If you are a whiteboard person, do that. If you're a sticky note addicted person like I am, I'm a sticky note addict, use those. Whatever system you need to come and implement into your life to help you maintain your focus, then do it. Do not make excuses saying, that's just the way I am, because that's crap. All right, can we agree that that's crap? Are we gonna stop saying, I'm, it's just the way I am? I can't even handle that. You know, that's choosing not to grow. That's choosing not to grow. And you know what happens when you don't grow? Hate to, hate to break it to you, but you die. So stop it. Can we agree to stop that? We'll never ever say, that's just the way that I am. Okay, never. If you say it around me, you're gonna get smacked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. So. I was thinking about the topic for tonight, and I thought a really, really, really good topic for tonight would be retention. How many of you would love to keep everybody that you've ever enrolled? Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome? 
Um, I'm going to share some things with you tonight that has helped my retention rate. I have a way above average retention rate than the company average. And I know why, and I know our team as a whole does as well, because we've duplicated our systems and the systems that Isogenics uses. We get to events. Uh, you know, in three years, we've gotten a thousand people to an event. That is pretty outstanding, right? Would you agree? Yeah. So we're going to talk about retention. First of all, events. You get people to events, guess what? They're not going anywhere. They're not. How many of you have been to an event? Actually, how many of you have not been to an event before? Let me see. We got three pages. One person. If, keep your hand up if you've not been to an event. Like one person on this call. How awesome is that? And you guys are all still here. That might be a clue. Would you agree? Yes. Getting people to events is key. And the key to get people to events is guess what? You get there. Okay. And I know our team never has an issue with that. I know some of you resisted it in the beginning. Lots of you did. And it was so, it's so funny. It happens every single event. You resist it, you resist it, re you resist it, and you get to the first event. And all of a sudden, here comes the line of the criers. Oh, I totally get it now. I know what you meant. And you may have had that happen within your team because you kind of said to them what I said to you. And the next thing you know, you get the big hugging line. I totally get it. No, I'll never miss another one. I'm so sorry I didn't let that day out. Right? Anybody else or is that just me? No. I know. I've watched your lines form with the cry. So that's a good thing. Um, you know, so many people love our community. And, and honestly, if, I, if I'm telling the complete truth, that community is what saved this girl in the beginning. Long before all you beautiful people showed up, it was just me and my kids. And that's about it. I had one friend here in Arizona and a month in I went to an event and saw this beautiful culture and beautiful community that I definitely was proud to stand in with. And so I don't want you to think that you um, sharing events with people is annoying or bugging people you do not even realize how much that has blessed my life by showing up, even alone. Many of you would not even be here if I didn't go to that first event. So speak from your heart when you talk about events, you know, when, when you say, you just got to get to an event. Like, if you talk to me like that, I'd be like, shove off. I don't want to talk to you. Like, but if, if, you, if I said to somebody, listen, I understand that it's a big sacrifice to get to an event. I know many people, there's two in particular on this call that I see that I know it's a stretch. I know that, you know, spouses maybe have given them a hard time for getting to an event and you had to arrange childcare and job time off. And it was, you know, a cost to get to an event. And I understand all those things are sacrifices. I do. But what if? What if? And it's important that you um, share that message. Share your heart with what, what happens if you don't go to your first event. And be truthful. Be truthful with it. Share your vulnerability at that. I mean, seriously, you guys, if I don't go, you're not here. Unless you find somebody else in Isogenics that, that started, you know. I mean, that's just the God's honest truth. So events is a great way to keep retention. The more people you get to events... Uh, not only does your retention go up, but so does your income. For every one person you bring to an event, if they stick around, which most of them do if they get to an event, you can pretty much gauge that your income will go up by $1,000 per person at the end of the year. Would you say it's worth it to get people to events, not just for them, but for you as well? And wouldn't you want that to duplicate? It has in our team. It really, really has. And quite honestly, you know, I get asked all the time by the 37, 38,000 people that are part of our organization today. They want to be mentored. They want to work with me. They want this. They want that. And the first question I ask them is, do, where's, your, where's the ticket to your next event? And I mean a core four event, not one that's easy to get to, like right in your backyard. I mean one of the core four. Celebration, New Year kickoff, University in Action, or an um, ICU. And if they're not willing to do that, that's totally okay. They're just not ready. Okay. And I stand true to that. Many of you have wanted maybe some help with, 
with me and you may have been held off until you actually show up to an event. You know, you got to have some skin in the game. Would you agree that that's important? Yeah, awesome. Okay, so the other reason that the retention in our team has been um, higher than the, the company average has been because most of us enroll with President's Packs. How many of you guys enrolled with a President's Pack? It's okay if you didn't, I just want to see how many of you have. And I'm pretty sure it's high because it's duplicated a lot. Yep, lots of you. Most of you. This is awesome. Good. Then you're not making me a liar. <laughs> so that's good. So that's good. And I know that the ones that haven't, and, and trust me, I get number one reason why uh, you don't enroll people with a president's pack is the number one objection is what? Cost, right? Money. And um, I get that. Back when I started Isogenics, I was a broke, unemployed, single mother with no child support. So I understand that that is scary money. Um, I understand all of the things that, um, that are said to you, and we'll, we'll kind of touch on a few of those. And my, my thinking behind that, and trust me, I had every bit of mommy guilt the minute I swiped my debit card. Like, I wanted to puke kind of guilt. Anybody else have that feeling when you, when you invested in yourself and on shakes? Because that's pretty much all I thought I was getting in the beginning. I was like, great, I'll drink your stupid shakes. Like literally, that was my attitude. And I was like, well, I'm gonna totally return it at day 29, I'm gonna use every single thing in this box and I'm totally gonna return it because it had the money back guarantee. And um, you know, I'm an all in kind of girl, big shocker. And I knew that I was going to return it. And so I wanted to know without a doubt that I had tried their very best thing before. You know, cause I didn't want any what ifs. I've had plenty of what ifs in my life that didn't go so well. And so I wanted to know if I was going to try this and return it, that at least I gave it my all and tried the best. And boy, did they make a liar out of me. Because <laughs> four days later, I felt like I've never felt in my entire life. And we'll, we'll talk about that. So when I'm talking to people, I understand, because I didn't understand the value in it either. I just saw 559 and I wanted to puke. Anybody else have that feeling? when they saw that price. Yeah, I get it. At day four, I would have given up my firstborn for it. <laughs> I quickly understood the value. Now I understand not everybody understands the value that fast. Um, but when you were, when I was coming from a place of desperation to feel better, I tried everything. It was worth it to me. And I quickly saw, you know, even feeding two teenagers, on a very, very, very tight budget that I was saving money. In two weeks, I noticed that, you know, my Diet Coke addiction had ended, which, you know, I was spending quite a bit at the QT for my Diet Cokes. Um, there was a lot less trips to the grocery store, even though, yes, I still had to make meals for my family and, and myself. There was a lot less waste. My appetite had gone down. My binge cravings for the little, you know, sweet treats had gone down. So those little extras that I didn't think made a big difference really add up. And one by one, I, it started chipping away at my family budget. And I am a numbers person, so I noticed that right away. And if you say, well, I'm not a numbers person because I don't know, well, that's a choice too. You said you're never gonna say, that's just the way I am. So you can never say you're not a numbers person again either. Um, but it's really important. I saw that, Alyssa. Uh, it's really, really important that you, um, translate the value. And even when your heart is speaking about the value of isogenics, until they have it in their body, they're going to think you're full of crap for the most part. Or they're thinking, I have tried everything under the sun. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on stuff and none of it worked. Or I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. That's really what they're saying in their head when money becomes an issue is they can't look themselves in the mirror if they waste their family budget anymore on stuff that they're not going to follow through with. Like that's the real story going on underneath that money issue. I'm just being really honest with you. Okay. And so you need to let them know why that's not going to happen. You need to let them know why that's not going to happen. And we'll touch on some more of that later, but, but being compassionate and understanding, um, you know, when I break down what they're spending per day before I even talk about price, that usually helps it. 
Um, I let them know with the 30 day money back guarantee, wouldn't you want to know without any question in the world that you tried everything? I understand maybe you've tried other things in the past, but you didn't have me. You didn't have me. And you know, that alone sometimes really is what people need. You know, we've bought pills and, and Lord knows what else was in my cabinets, but I didn't have a me in my corner saying, I got you. I got you. I didn't have a Facebook community like our beautiful Strive for Change loving on me every five seconds, right? But we have things to help make this process bulletproof for them if they choose that, okay? So other things about the President's PAC. Um, what I like to tell people about the President's PAC too, I understand we have other options. You have a budget and I get you don't understand the value in it yet. And if you want to start with something that's not the President's PAC, of course, of course, I will support you, but I want you to know that most people that start with less than the residence pack two weeks later end up spending twice as much to get all the things they would have had had they got the president's pack. So I'm just letting you know now if you're okay paying two times for it two weeks from now, then I'm totally here to support that. That usually helps too, you know, because very quickly they see, oh my gosh, what are e shots? Oh my goodness, what are these chocolates? Oh my goodness, what is product B? Why does your skin look so good? Why does it look like you have a facelift? Why, why, why is it you're 44, but you look 24? Why, you know, that's the president's pack, baby. And so we talk about it like that and it's fun. And they're like, oh man, okay, just give it to me. And, and you know what? They never regret that decision. I've never had anybody that got the president's pack that said, darn it, why didn't you just sell me that 30 day? Why didn't you start me with a 30 day? Never once has anybody regretted it. And the ones that have decided this wasn't for them, you know what, they have owned the fact that they didn't put their all into it, okay? It works if you work it, you guys. And so it, it's best to keep them working it with the best tools in their toolbox, would you agree? Yes, cool. The other things I talk about, it's best fast food on the planet because most of us are working out of our car most of the time. We're jockeying kids around to God knows where. Um, I love the fact that I never have to waste my time or money or health in a drive through again. I keep a shaker bottle and a pack of the shakes in my car. I roll up to the convenience store and say, hey, Bob, I'm just getting some water and ice. Shake, shake, shake. Peace out. There's my $2.80 right in my cup and I feel amazing, and I spent a lot less time doing it. Um, this re replaces 80 meals. Uh, it covers mood support. That's Ionics, you guys. That is, how I, that is how I talk about Ionics, mood support. That, for a lot of people, they may not talk about that so much, but how many people do you know, including yourselves, are like stressed to the max? Yes, the President's, pa President's Pack helps with stress management. They're thinking they're getting shakes. You talk about mood support and stress management, sign me up for that. You know how many thousands of dollars I have paid on counseling? <laughs> Give me Ionics, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> this helps with snacking. And I usually talk about, you know, I'm the nine o'clock creeper into the kitchen. You know, that's when most people drop the ball. We can drink our shakes and eat a nice meal, but you know, all of a sudden we're like savages when it comes to snacking and the president's pack helps with snacking. So if you're a snack monster like this girl, you need this president's pack. It'll help you with that. It'll make this process a lot easier for you to not sabotage it, to not, you know, throw in the towel. Cool. Yes, of course they say yes. Energy support with the e-shots and the ionics. Vitamin, it helps with vitamin and mineral deficiencies because we're all lacking. The vitamins aren't in our foods the way they used to be when we were kids. It's, we have to supplement. And so obviously the president's pack helps with that. Sleep support, sleep support. I hadn't slept through the night since I was seven years old and boom, day four, I thought I died. I thought I died because I slept like a freaking rock star. How awesome is that? That comes in your president's pack. Skin care. And let me tell you, I'm a product junkie. And I've used our skincare before. And because I'm a junkie when it comes to products, I go try something else. And you know what I do? I end up throwing that out and coming back to the rejuvenity. So just stop it. Just stop it, Tracy. Get that president's pack and, and get your samples in and let them try it. It's the, it's the best skincare. I kid you not. So they get that in the president's pack. The blender. How many of you have had, well, I already have a blender. I don't need the blender, so give me a 30-day instead. Really? You're going to ditch a whole president's pack over a blender? Please. Honestly, my blender fit in my carry-on suitcase. My, that blender has been to probably 50, 60 different airports and not broken down. For those of you that work outside the home, it's awesome. 
most of the newer cars these days have a plug in the car. You can mix your freaking shakes in your front seat. How awesome is that? And that blender is the easiest cleanup I've ever had in my life. My kids even clean it. It's that easy. <laughs> Nothing is left in the sink. So, you know, I don't like hearing, oh, I don't need a blender. So what? You need this blender. You need this blender. Do you, do you stay locked in your home all day, every day? No, of course not. You move around. This moves with you. It's awesome. They're like, all right, give me the blender. Right? Totally. Uh, this one is fun to talk about, the event coupon. How many of you don't talk about the event coupon that comes in the president's pack? Yes, I see lots of hands. Why not? That is the golden ticket. That is the game changer in the box. And that's when I tell them, like, listen, I would not be sitting here having this conversation with you today if I didn't use that, that coupon. And I let them know you love Strive. I get it. You've been in our community for blah, 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 however long. Imagine Strive for Change on steroids. And that is an event. And so I let them know you may not want to use it right now. That's totally okay. But keep it in your back pocket because there's going to come a day where you're going to want it. And I promise you, it will change your life as much as this box is. And that's awesome. Isn't that a great way to describe the President's Pack and why it's so valuable? Do you see why I very rarely get told no about that? And another component to the retention, people that start with a President's Pack, they have a 75% higher retention rate that they stick around because they have tried all those sticky products. The process of transitioning into a new lifestyle is a lot easier. And you know what else? It duplicates. Whatever you started with is probably what you share because it's what you know, right? I started with a president's pack. It was pretty much all I knew. So guess what? Everybody I've enrolled pretty much started with a president's pack. They didn't have a choice, <laughs> right? And wouldn't you want that kind of not only retention duplicate, that BV is twice as much as a 30 day. You'll cycle almost every time somebody enrolls in a president's pack, which is great. It's awesome. The product introductory bonus is higher, not just for you, but when they duplicate it, they'll get paid faster, which means they'll stick around, right? Would you agree? So um, don't be afraid to have this hard conversation up front. A lot of people are afraid to have this harder conversation up front. Even when I was brand new, this is how I talked to people because I knew the value of it. I loved the value of the President's Pack. I love the value. And, and this is coming from a broke, single, unemployed parent. So I can speak this. I get it. I get it. Trust me. You tr and what I say is you trusted me with your health. You trusted me enough to have this conversation with me. Please trust me on this. You will thank me later. So be willing to have this conversation up front. Um, sometimes people will still say, no, I want a 30 day and that's totally okay. And let them know that in two weeks when they want all the stuff that's in the president's pack, you'll help them make that happen. Okay. You want to be respectful and honor them, but you also want to be, um, have a strong posture in the value that, that this president's pack is. Would you agree that that's important? I have a video. It's been in Strive for a little, in Strive for Biz for about two years. I broke down the president's pack. It's still floating around in there. Um, it's, it's older. I wasn't as uh, fine-tuned as I am today, um, but it's really valuable. It kind of hits all the objections and basically goes over what I said. So um, your retention will go up if you start having these harder conversations. I would much rather have somebody um, start when they're all in and ready with the president's pack than half-ass it with 30 day, right? I'd much rather keep people around. Um, you know, I maxed out my first business center enrolling less than 80 people because not only was my retention going up, but that duplication was going up. I'm not saying that that's going to happen if you enroll 80 people that you're going to max out a business center because many of you have enrolled as more than me. Many of you have enrolled more than me. But I want you to know that your chances go up with this president's pack. The retention stays up. And the longer people stay around, the higher the chances are that they'll end up sharing it with the people. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. And you want to know what else I tell them? So even if this, this is where it gets really good, you're going to want to take notes on this part because this is really good. So. President's pack is about 16, 17 bucks a day because 
you know, if you don't share it, it'll last about five weeks. You, the shakes and the bars at least will last you five weeks. So it breaks down to about $16, $17 a day. And if they say they're not spending that per day, I don't always believe that, but whatever, you know, people have what, whatever they have. And if, if they still say they don't spend that a day, totally okay. Totally okay. I said, well, how would five forty a day work for you? $5 and 40 cents a day for your president's pack work for you. And of course their light, their eyes light up. I'm like, that's like less than a trip to Starbucks, isn't it? You know, that trip to Starbucks you told me you take every day. They're like, yeah, how do I get it for $5 and 40 cents a day? I said, who do you know? Who are your best friends? Do you have a sister? Do you have a mom? Do you have a brother? Do you have moms that are, you know, in a play group with you? Do your kids have parents? And I, I, I let them know if you share it with two of your friends with a president's pack, your your price drops down to five forty a day instead of sixteen or seventeen bucks. Just by sharing it with two people you love. And if they say, Well, I don't want to do that, okay, then you're gonna pay sixteen or seventeen dollars a day. Totally okay. Your choice. No problem. And I say, and guess what? Like, let's say you show your two friends or family how to share it with two people so they get it for $5 and 40 cents a day. Guess what happens for you? I'm like, what? I said, oh, free. It's free plus $261 cash for you. Not in free product, but cash. However, you choose to spend that $261. So the choice is you. If you wanna pay 16 or $17 a day or save for it, totally okay with me. This is your decision. But I'm obligated to share with you what it drops down to the minute you start sharing it with people you love. How awesome is that? Isn't that easier than saying, hey, why don't you sell shakes and do the business? <laughs> Please don't ever say do the business or sell. Or, I don't do sales, neither do I. I share, I share. But dropping that price down to 540 a day is pretty appealing, wouldn't you agree? Yep, I would say. Now, another reason for the high retention in our team is the 14 day talk. How many of you use it? How many of you don't know what that is? Cool, most of you do. I'm looking around, you better. Especially the ones I brought in. <laughs> you may not know it was called that when I was talking to you, um, but this is basically framework. You know, again, like a lot of people are afraid to have that hard conversation in the, in the beginning about cost or value or whatever. A lot of people are afraid to talk about the things that may happen in their first days because if they tell them they might get a headache, if they tell them they're going to feel like crap, then maybe they won't want to join. And you know what? I'd rather tell them the truth and set that expectation up front so when it does happen, they aren't blindsided by it. Right? If you start them and don't warn them that it happens and it happens to them and they're a shy person and don't want to reach out in our, our Facebook group, guess what they're going to think? They're going to think they suck at life, it doesn't work, and this isn't for them. They're going to silently go away and quit and you'll never hear from them again. So wouldn't you agree that framing this at the front end is really, really important? Not only will it let them know that this is what's supposed to happen, but guess what it makes you look like? A freaking genius! because you predicted it. You actually know what you're talking about. You have credibility. They trust you even more and respect you even more. And honestly, I respect people that tell me the freaking truth and bottom line me. I don't like BS. I don't like, you know, walking on eggshells around subjects. Like, okay, just tell me, tell me like it is. And so I can prepare myself. Cause if you blindside me, I might crack you in the head. Like I don't like to be blindsided at all. That's why I used to sabotage myself, honestly. That's why I used to sabotage things because I knew if I controlled how things would go down, then at least I wouldn't be blindsided. How crazy is that? Is it just me or maybe you too? I don't know. So you want to help people not sabotage themselves by framing this properly, by telling the truth, right? How many of you felt like crap the first few days? Let me see your hands. Yeah, almost everybody. How many of you didn't know that was going to happen? Raise your hand if you weren't, you had no idea that that was going to happen. Oh, Barb, you knew too. So did you, Lindsay. You knew you'd feel like yuck. Oh, yes, you did. So a few of you didn't expect that. And that's okay, because now you have that experience. 
and that's normal. And so the 14 day talk basically is a conversation you should have with everybody, even before they get started. Cause I, I like to let them know what to expect. I, you know how we have the 12 days of Christmas. I call it the 14 days of isogenics. And it's the fun conversation to have whether they're enrolling or not, because I like, let, I like to let them know what's coming or what that looks like. Because for me, I don't know about you, but when I was first starting, I was in such a brain fog that I could barely wrap my brain around 30 days. Like that was a big stretch for me, but I could, I could wrap my brain around two weeks. I don't know. It's only like two weeks difference, but for some reason it didn't feel as overwhelming for me. Does that, is that helpful for you guys? And you need to understand and not forget how it felt to be when you were first starting. Most of us felt like crap when we were starting isogenics and we need to not forget that because most of the people starting isogenics with you feel awful and they're in a fog and most of them probably can't even think about tomorrow, let alone 30 days. So this 14 day talk helps this process a little bit. Um, and how it goes is this, and I, I'll talk about the ISA body and healthy mind and body. I've kind of started adding that in to kind of set them up for success right off the, the get go. I let them know that we have an amazing um, program where you could just enter in and you don't have to do anything else but complete it. Just by completing it, you'll get an extra $200 at the end of it to keep you in the game. It's amazing. And you get a cool t-shirt. Like, that's cool. And because, you know, if they've been in Strive for any period of time, they know that we work on mindset a lot in our team. And I'm all about the mindset. I think Isogenics products are the best thing on the planet as far as superfood nutrition. However, if your mind's not right, guess what you're going to do? Most likely you're going to go back to old patterns and habits, even with a superfood in your body. And so the healthy mind and body is another reinforcement tool to keep you successful. Um, and so I always try to talk about that right at the get-go too, um, not just in Strive, but, you know, getting in that program as well. Um, but the 14-day talk goes like this as I'm getting them started. Listen, I know you're excited about starting this and, you know, you're excited for the changes that are going to come, but I want you to be prepared because your body is going to be like, what the heck is going on? Days one, two, three, and four, all of a sudden things may feel really weird. Maybe you have a headache. Maybe you have the chills. Maybe times in the bathroom are a little bit awkward. Maybe you're going a lot. Maybe you're not going at all. One of those things may happen. May not, but I want you to know your body is all of a sudden adjusting to amazing nutrition that it's been lacking for a long, long time. So it's adjusting. You know, you've got some impurities coming out of you that maybe have needed to go for a long, long time. And depending on where you're at, everybody's going to be a little bit different. Uh, for me, I felt like a truck hit me. So I like to prepare people for the truck being hit, you being hit by the truck feeling because I was pretty darn toxic. Now, some people have an easier time, but I want you to know that days one, two, three, and four, you might not feel so great. You may not like me. You may think we're a cult. You may want to call me up and call me names, or you may want to say them behind my back. Totally normal, totally to be expected. That means it's working. Like, don't you think that's important to let people know? And it's important to have fun with it too. Like, it's not super, you know, serious. I like saying, oh, you're going to call me names behind my back. Totally okay. So then I let them know day five is going to happen and you might wake up and like look around like, where am I? Did I die? Because maybe you're, you slept really, really great. You're going to bounce out of bed and if you're a girl, you're going to do your hair and all of a sudden it's a good hair day. It's a good hair day and your eyes might be sparkly and your skin, all of a sudden, you know, the skin starts to tighten up. You're like, what the heck is going on right now? You still may not be sure if you like me and that's totally okay. You still may be calling me a name or two behind my back, but that's totally okay because day seven's coming. And on day seven, you're going to wake up and you're going to be like, oh, I got to call Tracy and apologize to her for being so mean to her because I feel like a freaking rock star. You're going to feel better than you've ever felt in your entire life. A week from now, a week from now, you're going to feel that. And they're probably looking at, like, looking at you like you're you're, you're batch too crazy, right? I know that I've, I've sat across from many people at a Starbucks and they're like, you're insane. What are you drinking? And ironically, when that happens to them, they're like, all right, here's the call. 
I got to make the call. I'm like, all right, give it to me. You're in love with me, aren't you? And they, yeah. So not only am I building trust and credibility, but they're starting to feel really good too. And this is where it starts to get fun. And I let them know by day 10, all of a sudden, you're going to start getting a little territorial about your stash. If you've come out of your ISA closet, like I did, all of a sudden, everybody that was around me wanted what I was drinking. And I was like, oh, no, get your own, get your own. Or if you didn't start with the president's pack, maybe you're wanting those chocolates. Maybe you're wanting to try some e-shots or those, those greens or, or whatever. And I want you to know that because we've set you up with your own online superfood store, at your fingertips at any moment you can go onto your computer or onto your app on your phone and you can order from your own online superfood store and it's great it has the customer service and quality of nordstrom with the speediness and effectiveness of amazon how awesome is that so you're kind of addressing the auto ship issue you're kind of addressing how they can take responsibility and order for themselves you are not an order taker you want to empower them we're all grown-ups so that's kind of what that part of the conversation is. And then this is the really good part. Because remember when I was talking to you about that president's pack and I said, if you shared it with two friends, you know, it drops down to about 540 a day. And they're like, mm-hmm. I said, well, guess what? By day 14, without even trying, they're going to start asking you anyway. So even if you don't want to talk about it right now, guess what? By day 14, without even trying, people are going to start noticing. And I tell you this because I don't want you to be blindsided by that and all of a sudden be like, well, I'm just eating healthy. Tell the truth. Tell the truth because people are suffering out there like you are. People are suffering out there like I was and they need what you have. So don't be, you know, shy about this. Don't be stingy with this. Even if you don't know anything about it except that you feel amazing, that's enough. And you have me, you have this beautiful community to help you and help your friends. But I want you to know by day 14 without even trying, even if you want to hide out in your ice closet, they're going to find you out. Trust me, I tried to hide and they found me. They found me. So all I can say to you is you want to share it. You want to bless the heck out of some people. And um, this gets really, really fun when you're doing it with people you love. Because now I've got a whole army of people that I love very, very much, feeling better than they've ever felt and um, enjoying the ride. So isn't the 14 day talk awesome? Yes, and I can take full credit for that. That's my template. I will honor myself for that one. And it was a fluke. It was a fluke, but it was a very duplicatable system that works for every single person that either is thinking about isogenics or starts isogenics. And the other thing that I add on to the end of that 14 day talk is really, really important because I tell them, I'm like, listen, I know you trusted me not only to start with the president's pack. I know that inside maybe you're feeling a little guilt or you're like, oh my goodness, maybe you're going to have buyer's remorse tomorrow, but I want you to know that I want you to have the greatest success possible. And I want you to know that I'm here for you for the long haul. I'm not just here to crack open your box and then say, see you later, good luck with that. So do you trust me to help you, sh to show you the, the best way to succeed with this? And of course, they're not gonna say no, right? No, just take my $600 and leave me here in the dust. No, nobody's gonna say that. Of course, they wanna know how to be the most successful. That's why they came to you, they trusted you, right? So I let them know this. I said, what I have found is the people that have had the highest success with this and have felt great about this decision and would never go back to their old way of living have done two things in their first 14 days. And this is really important, you guys. Number one, they reach out to me every day for 14 days. The ones that are the most successful reach out to me once a day for 14 days however they're comfortable. If they like to text, we text. If they like to email, we email. If they like to get on the phone, we talk on the phone. Or if they want to send a private message, then we do that. It's however you're most comfortable. And I'm not going to stalk you. This is on you. I want you to know that I'm 100% all in this process. I want to make sure you are too. And if you're not, I'm not going to be picking up the phone saying, you know what? I didn't hear from you today. But I want you to know I'm all in. Are you? That's putting it on their court. So when they say, well, I'm not having success, well, you didn't reach out to me. We could have worked through that, right? I let them know my commitment level. And you need to know if you're willing to be a 2%, if you're wanting to be a 2%er, this is what you got to do. This is customer service. This is a heart of service business. 
This is not about PIBs and cycles, okay? The other thing, step two that I asked them to do, this is really, really important too, and this is awesome because this is how you start to wean people off you and duplicate, use the systems and tools. Number two, what I would love for you to do is every day for two weeks only, I want you to post and strive. If you have a question, post a question. If you wanna have a fun selfie picture, do that. If you wanna say how much you hate this process, then do that too. But every day for two weeks, I just want you to reach out and strive because I want you to know you're gonna be helping a lot of people with your question or with your concern or anything. And what happens is, is the first time they do that, all of a sudden they're getting validation, they're getting support, and they realize they don't have to be dialing me all the time, which is exactly what you want. It doesn't mean they don't love me, I get it, but a lot of times, because Strive is so amazing, they get faster response on that than if they texted me anyway, right? And quite honestly, not everybody I bring in has the same health stuff that I do. They may not relate to me, but they'll relate to so-and-so in Strive. And so all of a sudden, they're building their own little community of support. And you know what? When they get that kind of love and support in their first 14 days, you want to know what happens when day 14 without even trying and somebody notices what they're doing? They're more likely to add somebody into Strive because of the love and support they got early on. Would you agree that that's super important to do? And again, I'd let them know, if you don't do it, guess what? I'm not going to be calling you up and being like micromanaging you and, you know, the Facebook police. I'm totally not going to do that. But you told me you wanted to change your life. And I'm here to tell you these two things are a game changer. And I'm all in with you. I just need to know that you are. Putting it on them. I mean, that's some tough love. But really, you want to say that you don't have what it takes, then that's a choice. The only reason you ever have to do any of this life alone is if you choose it, okay? So have that hard conversation in the beginning, set those standards, frame it, and you better, if you say you wanna be a two percenter, you better be all in for 14 days every time you start somebody. Even if they're a pain in the butt, you're obligated. After 14 days, time to kind of cut the cord a little bit, especially if they're a little negative. But because you've set that system up with the 14 day talk and with those two expectations, by day 14, that process should begin. Unless you're codependent and you wanna solve everything for them. And quite honestly, you can do that, but you won't build a legacy doing that because you'll get burnt out and you won't have time and that doesn't duplicate so nobody in your team will do what you do. So just know that if you wanna do that, great. You might feel really good about yourself, but you're hurting your team and you won't ever build a legacy that you say you want. So use the systems and tools and templates that not only Isogenics has put into place for us, but this 14 day talk thing is a huge duplicatable powerhouse tool. Would you agree? Boom. If you have no idea what the 14 day talk is or you haven't seen it done, um, I did a video again that was so random in the back of my backyard that I never expected for the world to see, and it's probably got about 30,000, 40,000 views at this point. This is not a video that you send to people. This is a video that you use to practice your 14-day talk. It's where you get the template and maybe some key wording that works for you. You know, if you're not a jokester or a sarcastic person like I am, then you may not want to be sarcastic. But the same, you know, bullet points that are in that 14-day talk, you make it your own but you have that conversation with every single person. And what happens is, is that will duplicate. And that is how you build the legacy. Cool? Use them, use them, use them. For somebody that used to have to know everything about everything, a freaking perfectionist, to all of a sudden come to Isogenics and use templates and tools and systems. Tr trust me, for three weeks, I tried it the Tracy way, and I was already burnt out in three weeks. And I knew it broke as a joke, single parent needed to build a legacy that if I wanted something different in my life, I was going to have to do something different. And that meant using tools and templates. They're still all my own. Like my personality is slapped all over those templates. So I use every single one of them and then I duplicate. So don't be so high and mighty that you've got a better way or you're so creative or that's just the way I am because we promised we would never say that. Use the systems and tools and templates. It'll save your life and it'll make this whole journey a lot easier.
And you want to duplicate and keep retention, yeah? We said that's what we wanted. All right. Almost done, you guys. You feeling this? Is this good? All right. Well, I want to get a few call outs. Paul Jenkins, unmute yourself. I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, what floor are you on? Uh, oh, you're in a different hotel. You're in a different hotel, aren't you? I'm in North Vancouver, eh? Hey, I want you to share um, what you have learned over the last few days, not only about templates and using systems, but finding that service, because I know a lot of us are afraid to have these conversations because we're afraid of saying the wrong thing. But if you, every single one of you raised your hand when I said, do you believe you have a heart of service? How many of you do? I want to see this again. Yeah, everybody. I'm looking at you. Everybody. If you have a heart of service, then you can't do this wrong. I want you to know that. So, Paul, why don't you share kind of what you've learned the last few days, especially. I know you've been working hard on this the last two and a half years now. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but what especially have you learned about templates and the heart of service and how you can't go wrong when you're doing that? Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks. First of all, templates are, we have this, uh, I don't know, negative connotation with templates for some reason. We think that it's being inauthentic to use a template or a script. And we think, oh, that's somebody else. That's not me. I'm going to speak from the heart. And I heard a great uh, comparison. You know, those, those people who want to speak from the heart, you know, and just everything's from the heart. Be real authentic, right? Well, when you were 16 years old and you got in the car for the first time, you're like, I'm going to drive from the heart today. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to feel how to drive this car. And, and you're, if your parent was with you, they would slap you and get you out of the driver's seat because there's just no way. You don't, templates are just a tool. And if we want to serve people, and I think we're, you, we all agreed that we want to serve people, well, why wouldn't we use as many tools as possible? You know, farmers don't go, you know, I want this, these plants to grow, so I'm, but I don't want to use any tools. I'm just going to use my heart. It sounds ridiculous, right? And so when we're, we're trying to, to serve these people, serve our friends, our family, our community, use whatever you can. And if a template helps you get across your message to get out that, hey, we have isogenics, we have the best nutrition in the world. We have the best systems in the world. We have the best people, the best company, the best everything in the world. Why wouldn't you want to use as many tools you could to reach as many people as you could? It's selfish not to, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just been one of my biggest takeaways is who cares how you reach the people? If you come from a heart of service, use whatever you can to help, help those people around you because everyone's different and you might need to use something different. Well, and here's the thing also that I know that you know, and that is something that the reason why when I talk to people, it never sounds like I'm using a template is because I practice. You're not going to just look at a template once and think, I'm going to make it my own all of a sudden. It's going to be awkward and, and a messy thing. And that's totally okay too. But just know that you'll feel a lot more comfortable. And if you do get lost, know that you know exactly where to find yourself in a template. And, you know, because not everybody has my personality, you know, if you have somebody that is a little quieter and toned down or maybe somebody that's way bigger than me as far as like energy, you know, we can all use the same template, make it our own, but still be duplicatable, right? Is there yeah. anything you all, else you want to add to that, Paul? Yeah, I, and it's okay to be clumsy with the template or things you're learning. Like if we're learning the 14-day talk, it's okay to practice it and feel weird, because anytime we learn something, you're going to feel weird. Nobody in here, when they got in the car for the first time, started driving like Mario Andretti. Okay, everyone was like driving and just like, oh my God, you know, all over the place. And so it's okay. But it, it's your heart that really matters. And just use that template to keep you on track. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Christine Wesby, unmute yourself. Hello. Are you there? Hi, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> so I want you to talk about not only, I believe you are one of few, there's a few of you that have done every single challenge that I have put out there. Mm -hmm. 
You've also probably completed what, four isobodies? I'm on, on number six right now. Exactly, number six. So what has doing not only our challenges, which obviously I think we're on number eight or so, how many have you done with, with me, eight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so eight strive challenges and completed every one of them. She's one of the very few that has completed every one and on her six ISO body challenge. What has that done not only to your confidence, um, which is huge, your transformation, it's kept you in the game when you wanted to, you know, self-sabotage yourself. I mean, let's be honest. And what has it done as far as not just you, but people you've brought along? Um, gosh, it's, it's I know really, I put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cut me on track. Um, and it's really never been about winning, even though I actually did win. Um, one of them. It's just, it's just been amazing the personal growth that you experience each and every time. Um, I've gone through a lot of challenges and we've seen or uh, listened to Les Brown, done some of the same um, homework assignments, but each and every time I've learned something different. I've learned something different about myself. Uh, it's just been absolutely amazing and uh, God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what has that done for um, when you bring people in and you obviously you talk about the ISA body be, and our challenges? I know that you're very big on because you, not just have you won one of our challenges, but the growth that I have watched in you is infectious. And I know when you're in the middle of a challenge and you have people strive watching you, that has been a big time for you to share what we're doing. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah. And I think it's important to... Um just not focus on yourself and not focus on actually winning. Cause mm -hmm. that was like a total surprise when I actually did. I never ever thought I was good enough to win or whatever, you know, just all that stupid negative self-talk, but it's just giving it your best effort, just doing your best, fighting through the hard stuff and just trying to just grow yourself. And it's just been really helpful to my team just to, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just rambling. <laughs> That's so okay. Sorry. No, it's good. I mean, it, just, it keeps you in the game for sure. And I'm actually going to address what else it does in a little bit. So thank you, beautiful. I know I put you on the spot. All right. One last thing I want to talk about before I finish this out. Uh, Kimmy Ecker, you want to unmute yourself? Surprise. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I know also you're one of those that participates in every single challenge I ever do. Always. You're probably on your fifth or sixth ice body as well. Yeah. Yes. Number and, five. And how many times have you done healthy mind and body? I'm on my third. Okay. So I want you to talk about, and I know that you've talked about it, not just for isogenics, but I mean, with a lot of trainings, you get to talk about healthy mind and body, but you're absolutely somebody that, um, and I'll, I'll talk more about this. And this is why I want to talk to you as well, but I want you to talk about what healthy mind and body has done, not just for you each time, why you've done it three times, but what, when you're getting people started, why you talk about it and what it does within your organization and, and not just in their isogenics life, but in their life in general. Well, the first, the first time was actually they were with your challenges. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I required them. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <clears throat> but, you know, honest, when I first started at the beginning, um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. And um, I kind of held back, you know, because I thought that other people were reading it. And so <laughs> I did hold back. But then I actually started to actually enjoy it and get into it. And it was, you know, what, 10 to 20 minutes a day where it was just for myself because we forget to do that. We get so busy. Um, but I found that, um, you know, I have several team members that are just loving it. Um, and it's helping um, people like when they start off to just kind of really jump into it and, and learn more. And it helps them to set smaller goals. I know that you know, we all have these big goals and these big dreams and they're, they're 
you know, it's amazing to have and we need to have them. But sometimes they seem so far away that when you have these smaller goals that you set, it just helps you to build your confidence. It helps you to um, just appreciate your journey where you are today. And it just makes it just so much easier, I think, to just keep going on and moving forward. And what does that do? Um, not just, I mean, it helps keeping us on our health journey, but I know for me and dealing with a team of all different types of personalities, um, you know, and leadership that helps in that department as well. What has it done to your retention in your organization? Cause I know that you're such a huge fan of it. I am too. And, and that's why I include them in our challenges because I think it's that important. Uh, what have you noticed within the people that you've started on the healthy mind and body, what it's done for them? You know, I've seen several team members um, gain that extra confidence in themselves. Um, and also in their, you know, it, they gain the confidence in their health journey where they believe more and they're embracing the smaller them and the changes that are going. Um, if they've hit a plateau, they're still being able to embrace that and continue to move forward, but they're getting that confidence to share and not take the nose personally and, um, you know, enjoying the lessons that they're learning and, you know, making mistakes, but being able to, um, you know, just improve and share better and share stronger. It's just, it's been so nice to see so many of them. I see so many of them on the, uh, they're on right now, Cheryl, Tucson, love you. <clears throat> but it's just, it's just so nice to see them just come out and become and learn who they are and be themselves, you know? So it's been amazing, but then they're sharing that with their team. So it's just something that just keeps going on and on and on. It just keeps growing and it's just so beautiful. It really, really is. Um, you know, I was talking to Jim and Kathy Coover and, you know, this program, if they were to buy this program for themselves, it would cost several hundred dollars. And the fact that Isogenics offers it to us for something so low and just by completing it, you make money. Are you kidding me? To grow yourself, you actually make money. You just have to finish it. Um, it really? Like, why would you not take that opportunity to grow yourself? Again, that's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. Everything is a choice. And it comes down to how bad you want it. So I applaud you, Kimmy, for... Um, for not just you participating in it, participating in it, but making sure the people that you really care about, because you care about them, that you make sure that they get the every tool in their toolbox to help them be successful. And and um, thank you, Kim. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Uh, you know, with retention, everybody wants retention, but it's not something that you can just wish for and hope it happens. Um, retention does take some work, and it takes a commitment level. And how I want to end tonight, um, the biggest way to keep retention, honestly, in everything you do is to walk the walk you talk. Um, and I want to end with this because it's so, so, so important. Um, how many of you are parents? Yeah. So it would be like you saying to your child, hey, don't drink, don't smoke. But then what do you do? Yes, I know it's legal for us to do it, whatever. That aside that aside the second they turn 18 then they could go do it but it, it's like do as i say not as i do and you know even within isogenics you know so many of us are like hey cleanse do a two-day cleanse but have you actually done a two-day cleanse have you do you know what it feels like to do a two-day cleanse yes i do it's not always fun i still do them and when they're having a hard time i don't just tell them to suck it up I'm like, listen, I totally have been there and I understand this is how we got through it. So this is how you're gonna get through it. Um, as far as leadership goes, if you're telling people to go talk to people and I look in your back office and I see you telling your team, oh, go talk to people. Hey, go enroll some people. And if I actually looked in your back office right now, cause I've had some people say that to me more, my team's not doing anything. And so whenever anybody says my team is not doing anything, guess where that usually falls? to the guy at the top. And so whenever I have anyone complain about their team, the first thing I do is look at their back office. And sure enough, guess what I see? 
no enrollments, inactivity. I don't see them active drive. I don't see them doing the do. It's really, really important. I have never once complained about my team not doing anything. And I want to, we want to know why is because I'm doing the freaking work every single day. If you're doing the work every day, honestly, you don't have time to complain about what anybody isn't doing. You know what I mean? I am just being really hard and honest with you. Honestly, you have no reason to ever complain. We have the opportunity to build a million dollar business with 21 with a $29 startup. Now, do you think you're going to build a million dollar business by hoping it happens or depending on other people to make it happen? Absolutely not. And I don't ever want to hear. I was, I heard this today in Vancouver and I totally scolded this person. She said, well, I was put in a horrible spot. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? Really? Were you? You were just put in a million dollar organization. Now if you choose to do nothing with it, that's on you. I was put on an inside too. I get it. And you know, it was the best gift I was ever given because I knew everybody that showed up was a result of me. That was a blessing. It's a blessing. And quite honestly, you know, even if you have a huge leg with a lot of stuff on it, after 150,000, it's all a wash anyway, and you'll never ever collect on all of it unless you do something. So there's never a bad spot. Stop complaining about people not doing anything because I guarantee if they aren't doing anything, you're not. Guarantee you. Because if, you have, if you've talked to enough people and you have enough people watching what you're doing and you're doing the systems and templates and the tools and getting them involved right away at the 14 days, activity is going to naturally happen. Yes, 82.5% will be product users, very loyal product users. That's why retention is so important because if you have 82.5% of everybody that you talk to actively using the products every month, that's why retention is so big and, and getting them involved right away, the longer that they stay a loyal product user, the chances of them sharing down the road go way up. About 80, 90% of your top 100 income earners in this company started as product users, loyal product users. They stayed in the game. It's really important your people are staying in the game, even if in the beginning they want nothing to do with sharing. I was that person. And look what happened. 38,000 people later. So would you say retention's really, really big? And the best way to have retention is walking the walk you talk. If you want something, you better be doing it. If you want your people to be doing something, you better be doing it. You better be in that ISO body challenge. Every challenge I offer in Strive, your butt better be in it and participating. This is where a lot of you drop the ball. You say, oh, do her challenge, do her challenge, but I don't see you. You want to know where your credibility goes when you don't participate? Do they think you're serious about helping them? Do they think you understand where they're coming from? Why should they do it? If it's so great, why aren't you doing it? I don't care if you've done eight of them like Christy has. I don't care if you've done healthy mind and body once. You know, what? I am always a student of my own mind, my own craziness. That's why I'm here in Vancouver. I'm learning so much. And I had a 24 year old boy come up to me today, thanking me not only for the 90 day game plan, but just like Paul, he saw the call that I did with David Wood and how adamant David and I were about this event and just always being growing ourselves. We talked about, you know, I keep doing personal development until I'm personally developed. And quite honestly, guess what? You never stop learning. And so Paul bought a ticket that day and this 24 year old kid is, this 24 year old kid said to me today, I am here because of you, because you said it was this important. And I said, do you regret it? And he said, absolutely not. He goes, and why I'm so engaged in the 90 day game plan is because you said to do it. And not only that, he goes, I stopped saying my people weren't enrolling because I wasn't. He goes, and guess what? I'm enrolling now and you know what they're doing? I'm like, let me guess, enrolling. He said, yeah, 24 years old, he's getting it. The 24-year-old good-looking young boy who I could have mothered 
is saying this, why can't you? Why can't you? It's a choice, you guys. At any moment, you can say, this is not how I am. You can at any moment change your behaviors and patterns. Is it hard the older you get? Yes, trust me. <laughs> trust me. It takes a lot more effort after 40 years to rechange things, but you can. You can make that decision. You can at any moment say, you know what? This is the protocol. These are the expectations I have. This is the walk that I talk. Are you with me? I was not a follow through kind of girl before. I would sabotage, I would never finish anything. And it's no wonder the people that I was surrounded with did a lot of that. I had a lot of lip service going on, not just from me, but the people I surrounded myself with. And the minute, guess what? I started walking the walk I talk and doing the things I said I was gonna do. And my word was gold. That's why I'm here tonight. Yes, I'm two hours later than I originally said, but you know what, I'm here. Because I said I was gonna freaking do it. I didn't wanna do it. I'm tired. I'm sick of my voice, but my word is gold, is yours. If I say I'm gonna do something, I freaking do it. And that honestly is your key to retention. You, will, you won't have to enroll hundreds and hundreds of people to stay in the game. If you invest in the beginning, not just in you, but in them. You care about people, right? Right? They're waiting for you to go first. You were all waiting for me to go first and I did it. I was willing to do it messy and all. I was freaking a hot mess, <laughs> let me tell you. But I did it anyway because I cared about you and I knew you were waiting for me to go first. Do not underestimate the people that are watching you and learning from you. They're learning everything you do and what you don't do. And so if you're not participating, not only in the challenges, which is almost over, and I know a lot of you aren't, I'm a little disappointed in, not going to lie. That's over and done with. Don't put yourself up over it. We'll do better next time, right? Okay. But you can change that now. You can be active and strive. You can love on people, not just yours, but love on people because that's what you want duplicated. You're going to honor your word to yourself and to others. And you will never again complain, my team isn't doing anything. If you feel the need to say that, I want you to flip the mirror around. Or go look into your back office and look when the last time was that you, you blessed somebody with this. And that's that. Now, I know I was really just hard on you. But those are the standards that I hold myself with. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard when you open up your mouth and say you're going to do something and then the feeling wears off and you're like, oh, crap, I don't want to do this. But how you do anything is how you do everything. And I'm not just talking about isogenics because honestly, on the grand scheme of things, that's like this big. How are you with your families, with your children, your spouses, with yourself? I mean, do you make promises and commitments to yourself and break them? Do you sabotage them because you don't feel worthy or you're afraid of success? Something to think about. I've given you like three notebooks to work through. You've got your brain dump there. I bet there's going to be a lot of brain dumping tonight, even though it's late. There's a lot of stuff I just kind of threw at you. And my job is not to make you like me. I'm a little bit over that. I really, really am. You all said you wanted to be a two percenter, right? Is that still true? I mean, you're here at 10 o'clock Pacific time. Many of you are on the East Coast. It's past midnight for you. Two percenters can take the heat, right? You can handle a little bit of tough love even if you don't like me very much and I'm okay with that. This is what we do. And when we're wrong, we fix it. We don't hide it, we don't shame ourselves, we don't isolate, we just do better next time, okay? So you can make that decision at any moment to switch it up, to break old habits and patterns, to walk the walk you talk, to say, you know what? I dropped the ball on you. I apologize and I am all in for you, with you. You can do that at any time. Don't be afraid to admit that to people. You want to know how much trust and respect you will gain by owning your stuff because what you don't own is going to own you in your own head anyway. 
So you might as well just step up to the plate and say, you know what, my bad, I'm gonna fix this. I've had to do that a lot. It's not fun, but it feels so much better than hiding out, isolating, beating the crap out of myself and dropping the ball on people. Like, honestly, that's not a good feeling. Or when you see them in public next time, like, oh crap, don't look at me, don't look at me, right? Any of you had that happen before? Cause you dropped the ball on somebody? It's okay, we're human, we're all human, but we're gonna choose to say, I am not that way anymore. That is not who I am. That's not just the way I am, right? We're two percenters and two percenters own their stuff and, and we educate ourselves and we're always learning. We're effective educators. It doesn't mean we know it all, but we're effective because we care. We're effective because we're coming from the heart and we're effective because we walk the walk we talk. That's why we're effective, not because we know everything, right? And all that stuff's really duplicatable and cheap. It's cheap to keep educating yourself. It's cheap to keep growing yourself, but you gotta be consistent and do the work. Can we agree that that's what we're gonna do? Yeah, I sure love you guys. Thank you for being so patient with me and switching the time up. I didn't want to switch days. I wanted to honor this. I missed you. And I've been fired up the last few days. And yes, nine minutes short of what I said I would be. If you guys have any questions, if you want to throw your, do the hand up thingy, like you can raise your hand. If not, I'll just cut this short for the night. Um, I, I really, really am proud of you guys for staying in the game all six weeks so far. This is usually when things start to drop, and I don't want that for you guys. There are so many people that need us, you guys, so many, so, so many. So, you know, even if things aren't going the way that you expected or your energy levels have kind of like gone to the pooper or you've gotten so many no's that like maybe you think that this isn't for you, I want you to know it is. I want you to know it is. Why are you pointing at me, Jorge? Are you watching me? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> awesome. All right. If you guys got nothing, you guys could, oh, somebody just lowered their hand. Was that you, Jorge? Are you raising your hand? Okay. I'm going to unmute you. All right. You there? Um, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey, this has nothing to do with, well, I have a question and I'm starting to talk to a lot of people in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Is there any tools? Because um, I've been looking around and there are some videos, but is there any like training tools on the actual uh, compensation plan and how that works out? Christine? Wesby? Do you know offhand? I know we've got our Strive in Espanol page. Um, yeah. Do you, do you have, no, if not, I can get you an email of somebody, Jorge, that can help. Okay, because I've seen the Colombians, but their pesos are like, 30,000 more than, than Mexican pesos, so the conversion doesn't quite work, so. Um, you know what? High and low. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to give you, um, let me check my phone. I've got, he, he's not with the, um, the international department, but he's my friend and he speaks Spanish and he's amazing. Um, okay. So he could get... Okay, I'm gonna give you his phone number and it's a, it's a cell phone number and I'm okay. I know you're not gonna all give it out. So um, his name is Edmundo. Uh, okay. Are you writing it down? I'm looking for a pen. And you're gonna let him know you're with me. Okay, that's really important. Stacy, remember you're recording this. Do you wanna put that out? Oh, no. You know no, what, I'll put it in. Just email no, it to I'm me. Gonna, I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Thanks, Barb. Oh, okay. Because um, the chat won't show up on the Zoom. Okay, cool. Um, Maybe. Thank you, Barb. <laughs> See? I'm a reactor. There, that's who you're going to contact. Um, and yes, Joy Diaz, um, she was one of the ice. Thank you, Kimmy. Uh, she was one of the ISA body finalists. She speaks fluent Spanish. She's been doing a lot of the um, Spanish um, opportunity meetings at corporate as well. Um, but text Edmundo, let him know you're with me, and just ask him what you know. Ask him what information you're looking for. He's he's amazing. Um, 
and he'll absolutely direct you where you need to go. He's just a great guy and somebody I trust. So uh, when it comes to that. And yes, you can switch in your back office to Spanish. Um, but if you're looking for some more easier tools, um, yeah. Some, some general I, information. I, yeah, I saw that you can like, like uh, see the mm -hmm. prices in Spanish and uh, anybody that's like looking to go international, uh, the products that they have are not exactly like ours, for instance. Correct. The ministers, they have uh, like the bags mm -hmm. and you don't even do like the whole bags. It's like a nine day bag. So, um, and it's then, very different. Yeah. And then the cleanse for life comes in like one of those, you know, those little moy things uh -huh. that you squeeze into the water. It's uh -huh. like one of those. So I know I wish we had those, but we don't. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so get in contact with him. He'll direct you a, to the right person and he'll be great about getting you an information. Um, let yeah. him know I sent you and that I say hi. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, is that person local here or in Arizona or are they in so Mexico? Oh, they're in Mexico. All the people I'm talking to, are, they're my relatives. So, Okay. Yeah. yeah. Get with Edmundo and he'll direct you to the right person. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Tracy. Sure. Anybody else? All right, you guys. I sh oh, Sassy, are you raising your hand? Oh, yeah. I'm going to make you talk since you're waving at me. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. I saw you yawning before, too. I know. I was just excited. I was just saying. Yeah. Where have you been? You're so excited. I haven't seen much of you lately. Really? I've been around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> I'm really red right now. I know. I'm just saying I love you. Thank you. Thank you for Let's everything. What I was saying is thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for this too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I love you guys. Hey. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut us out. Um, I'm really grateful for all of you guys. Uh, thanks for checking in late. I know it's late. Um, I'm tired too. Are you waving or you want to say something? You want to talk? Hold on. Barb. No, no. It's Cheryl Louse. Oh, hold on. Been waving. Hold, please. Thank you. Hey, I have a question about England and Italy and all that. Are they, do they ever go there or do you know how long it takes for them to go there? Uh, they're working on the UK right now. So that's all I know. And I know that is very actively moving in that direction. Right. Yeah, because I have family in Italy and all that, and they're all asking. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I know it's in the works, and that's all I can tell you. Okay, that works for right. me. Thank you. Awesome. Get excited. Like, there's actively some, like, events being set up to go over there, too. So that's really, awesome. really good. Yeah, it's, it's cool. definitely happening, so. We're ready. All right. <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys. I love you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.